So in this video, we'll be discussing about the signal analyzers. We have already covered about the signal generators in the previous videos. Now we'll be discussing about the signal analyzers. So let us see the contents, what we are going to discuss in the signal analyzers. So we are having firstly wave analyzer. So a wave analyzer is used for evaluating the performance of the waveform, which is generated by either of these signal generators. So here this wave analyzer will be measuring the single frequency component in a complex waveform. So we have two types of wave analyzers, AF wave analyzer and sorry, AF wave analyzer and HF wave analyzer. AF wave analyzer is used for audio frequency range and HF wave analyzer is used for high frequency range. Next, we'll be discussing about the harmonic distortion analyzers. So here, this harmonic distortion analyzers are used for measuring the total harmonic component in a complex waveform. Next, we'll be discussing about the heterodyne wave analyzer, which is also same as the HF wave analyzer. Next, we'll be discussing about the spectrum analyzers. So here, the spectrum analyzer will display the waveform in the form of amplitude versus frequency. Next, we'll be discussing about the power analyzers. Next, capacitance voltage meters. And in the last, we'll be discussing about the oscillators, which is a basic building block in this signal generators. So let us see about the wave analyzers. So first of all, what is a wave analyzer? So a wave analyzer is an electronic instrument which is mainly used in the laboratories for evaluating the quality of the waveform which is generated by any of the signal generators. And it can also evaluate the distortion and stability of the waveform generated. So this is an instrument, wave analyzer is an instrument which is mainly used to design, which is designed to measure the relative amplitude of the signal frequency components in a complex waveform or distorted waveform. It is used to measure the relative amplitude of a single frequency component in a complex waveform or distorted waveform. So how it is measuring the relative amplitude of a single frequency component is with the help of a tuned circuit. So here we are tuning the uh, tuned circuit to a particular frequency so that it will allow only that particular frequency which is to be measured and it will reject all the other frequencies and with respect to that particular frequency amplitude can be determined. Next. Coming to the block diagram of a basic wave analyzer. So how we have a basic wave analyzer is, so in the basic wave analyzer, we are having a first one is primary detector. So in the primary detector, we are having an LC circuit. So by tuning this LC circuit to a particular frequency, which is to be analyzed, we can measure the amplitude. Next in the intermediate stage, we are having a full wave rectifier. In the intermediate stage, we are having a full wave rectifier, which is used to represent the average value of the input signal. Next. In the last, we are having an indicating device. So in the indicating device, we are having a DC voltmeter. So in the indicating device, we are having a DC voltmeter. It is calibrated to read the peak value of the waveform. So this DC voltmeter is calibrated to read the peak value of the applied input signal. So this is a basic wave analyzer. So a basic wave analyzer consists of a primary detector. So in the primary detector, we are having a simple LC circuit. So this LC circuit is adjusted for resonance at the frequency of the particular harmonic component which is to be measured by rejecting all the other frequencies. And in the intermediate stage, we are having a full wave rectifier which is used to obtain the average value of the input signal. 
and in the indicating device we are using a dc voltmeter which is calibrated to read the peak value of the sinusoidal input voltage next since this lc circuit is tuned to a single frequency it passes only the frequency to which it is to be tuned and rejects all the other frequencies and we can also use n number of tuned filters which are connected to the indicating device through a selector switch it would be required for a useful wave analyzer next we are having two types of wave analyzers one is frequency selective wave analyzer and the other one is the heterodyne wave analyzers so where do we use this wave analyzers is we use in the electrical measurements sound measurements and also in the vibration measurements now we'll be discussing about the different types of the wave analyzers in that the first one is frequency selective wave analyzer so this wave analyzer is also called as a af wave analyzer because it is suitable only for the audio frequency range so the wave analyzer which is used for analyzing the signals of af range is called as the frequency selective wave analyzer so this analyzer consists of a very narrow passband filter section which can be tuned to a particular frequency within the af range so this af wave analyzer why it is named as af wave analyzer is it is used for analyzing signals of audio frequency range so it is named as the af wave analyzer it is also called as the frequency selective wave analyzer because by tuning the lc circuit we are tuning to the required frequency so we are selecting the frequency which is to be analyzed so it is called as the frequency selective wave analyzer so in this frequency selective wave analyzer we are using a narrow passband filter why we are using a narrow passband filter section because it will allow only one particular frequency and rejects all the other frequencies so here we are measuring only for a particular frequency right so we are using a narrow passband filter so it will be tuning to entire af range that is from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz coming to the block diagram of a frequency selective wave analyzer so this is the block diagram of a frequency selective wave analyzer so here the input signal which is to be analyzed will be given to an input attenuator so here input attenuator will be acting as a range multiplier which is used for allowing wide range of frequencies next we are having a driver amplifier so the output of the attenuator will be given to the high q filter by using a driver amplifier so in the high q filter we are having a cascaded rc so here it is a low pass filter with a high q filter which is having high q factor and the output of this high q filter will be given to a meter range attenuator and from meter range attenuator it will be given to an output amplifier again the output amplifier will be driving the output to the output buffer in order to connect it to a secondary devices like uh, recorders printers etc and again the output amplifier output when it is given to a meter amplifier and detector from meter amplifier and detector it will be given to an indicating meter so in the indicating meter the amplitude of the signal can be displayed in voltage range as well as the decibels range so here we are having a variable resistance and capacitor in the high q filter which is used for covering the entire af range the complex waveform which is to be analyzed is passed through an adjustable attenuator so which serves as a range multiplier and permits a large range of signal amplitudes to be analyzed without loading the amplifier so here the input signal which is to be analyzed will be passed through an input attenuator so here this will be acting as a range multiplier where large range of signal amplitudes can be analyzed without loading the amplifier and again the output of the attenuator is fed to a selective amplifier which amplifies the selective frequency 
by using a driver amplifier, we are connecting the output of the attenuator to the selective amplifier. This entire section is called as the selective amplifier because we are selecting the required frequency which is to be analyzed. So it is called as the selective amplifier. So in this, we are using a high Q filter, low pass filter. Next. So the driver amplifier applies the attenuated input signal to a high Q active filter. So here the driver amplifier is used for giving the output of the attenuator to the selective amplifiers. So here we are using a high Q filter, which is a low pass filter, which allows the frequency which is selected to the pass and rejects all the other frequencies. So the magnitude of this selected frequency is indicated by a meter and the filter section identifies the frequency of the component. Next. So in the selective amplifiers, uh, we are having a low pass filter, right? That low pass filter consists of a cascaded RC resonance circuits and amplifiers. So here for selecting the frequency range, capacitors are generally used. Uh, capacitance generally used are closed tolerance polystyrene type and the resistance used are precision potentiometers. So by, uh, the capacitors are used for changing the range and the potentiometer is used to change the frequency within the selected pass band. So hence it is named as a frequency selective voltmeter. Why it is named as a voltmeter? Because it is indicating the amplitude in a DC voltmeter. So it is called as a frequency selective voltmeter. So the entire AF range can be covered in decayed steps by switching the capacitors in the RC section of a low pass filter. Next, the selected signal output from the final amplifier stage is applied to the meter circuit and to an untuned buffer amplifier. So the main function of this buffer amplifier is to drive the output to the secondary devices such as recorders or electronic counters. So the, here the indicating meter can indicate in the voltage as well as in the decibel scales. So it is driven by an average reading rectifier type detector. So here we are having a meter amplifier and detector, right? So we are having a rectifier there. Next. So the wave analyzer will be having extremely low input distortion, undetectable by the analyzer itself. And here the bandwidth of the instrument is very narrow, typically of about 1% of the selective band. Thank you. This is about the frequency selective wave analyzer or AF wave analyzer.